In this video, we are going to understand how to auto post on social media via Google Sheet social media calendar. So let's say that you have got a spreadsheet where you have a social media calendar. Now you want that there are certain dates and time mentioned along with the post details like the caption and the links that you want to post on your different social media platforms. So here you are going to start with scheduling your workflow so that it can trigger every day and it is going to look up the rows of your spreadsheet to fetch for the data and the moment the date coincides with the current date then it is going to publish your data on different social media platforms. Now how can you do this? To do this you will have to integrate these applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So here your trigger application will be scheduled by Pabli which is a feature by Pabli and then your action application is going to be Google Sheets and then it is going to be all the social media platforms that you want to integrate. Now how you can do this yourself, automate and integrate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to auto post social media on various platforms. Now here we have a Google Sheet which is a social media calendar. Here we have the date, time, captions and images. Now my objective is that every time a new caption with an image link is added here with date and time, then automatically it should be posted as a link on Instagram, on Facebook and on Pinterest. Now how can we do that? To understand that, let's start. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached a landing page. Now on the right hand side, we have got two options, sign in and sign up. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this entire software. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. So these are the various products of Pabli. And here we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as I do that, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, we have a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? to create Google Sheets social media calendar and auto post on social media. So I have got a social media calendar in my Google Sheet and every time this workflow runs then automatically the post will be posted on various social media platforms. So let's click on create. And as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or the concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, I want this particular workflow to run every day to fetch for the data. So here I'm going to choose a feature by Pabli which is schedule. Let's click on this. Now why do I want to schedule this workflow so that it can run as per my desire. So here we have got different options at regular intervals, once, every day, days of the week or dates of the month. Now this feature has helped me to schedule this workflow every day at a particular time. So let's say the time here is 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and now I'm going to click on save. As I do that, here we have received the response. So you can see it is written how often you want to run your workflow. It is written every day. Now the time that has been mentioned here is 4.30, which is the UTC time, which is five and a half hours ahead of the Asia Kolkata time. And here the local time has been mentioned. Next is the action application. So before I go ahead, let me show you the social media calendar on the Google Sheet that I have created. So here we have got different fields. One is date, another one is time. Then these are the captions that would be posted on different social media along with these image links. Now here the dates have been mentioned. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to fetch the current date and that I'm going to do with the help of a feature by Pabli which is date time formatter. Let's click on this and here the action event would be to fetch the current date. Let's click on connect. As I do that here it is asking me for the format. Now the format that I have been using here is year, month and date. So here it is year, month and date. Let's click on save and send test request. Now you can see I have received the current date. Once I have received the current date, I'm going to look up for that particular date in my Google Sheet. So 
I'm going to choose my action step and here the application will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to look up spreadsheet rules. Let's click on this, click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. Let's click on add new connection, sign in with Google. So here we have to choose the account with which this particular Google Sheet has been connected. So I've done the same and now it is asking me for the additional access to my Google account. This is absolutely secure. So I'm going to click on continue. And as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Pabli Connect and Google Sheets are now connected. And once it is connected, here we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have to select the name of the spreadsheet. So you can see that the name of the spreadsheet was social media calendar, which has already been taken by the system. And since there was only one sheet, so this has also been captured by the system. Next is the lookup column. So here I'm going to look up for this particular column, the date column. So I'm going to mention A here and then we have the lookup value. So the value that I'm looking for is this value, the date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And as I do that, you can see the previous steps. I'll go to step two here. And this here is the date mentioned. So this is the lookup value. Next is, do you want to include headers and response? So you can either go for yes or no. I have selected true. Then the sort value. So I want to go from top to bottom or bottom to top. This is what I have to select. So I've selected top. Let's click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we have received the information. So for that particular date, I have received the data. So this here is the date. Then we have the time mentioned. Here is the caption and the image link. Now, once I have received this information, I'm going to choose a feature by Pabli, which is delay. Let me show you. So I'm going to add another action step here. I'm going to look for delay. So this is going to delay my workflow till the next date. So I'm going to here choose delay until and now here I'm going to choose the delay date. Now to enter the date, we have been given a format, which is this is the date and this here is the time. So I'm going to click on this. First of all, I'm going to go to step three and this here is the date. Then let's give a space. Go to step three once again and this here is the time. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written this date and time value here manually. So even when my workflow was running for the nth time with some new information, it would have taken the same data and not the new data. So to avoid that, we map the values. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request you can see that my workflow has been successfully delayed until this particular date and time. So what is going to happen is this workflow is going to look for the date and time. And the moment it coincides with the date and time, the workflow is going to run. And then again, when it runs, it is going to look for the next value. Now my workflow is scheduled to run every day. But let's say that there is no media to be posted on 19th. So in that particular case, I'll have to put a filter that if it doesn't coincide, then the workflow should not continue. So here I'm going to choose my action step. And here I'm going to look for filter, which is another feature by Pabli. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the label, go to step three. And here we have the date. So I'm going to look for this date. And here the filter type is exists. So if this date exists, then only this workflow should run. Otherwise, the workflow should stop then and there. As I click on save and send test request here, we can see that the condition is true and the status is shown as a success. Why? Because this particular value does exist. And now when it exists, I can continue with my workflow. So first I'm going to post this particular media on Instagram. So here I'm going to choose my action application as Instagram for business. And the action event here would be to publish photo. So here I'm going to auto post a social media post. Let's click on connect. And here you can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Instagram for business account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Instagram for business. I have already logged into my Instagram for business account. So you can see that the authorization has been successful. 
so it has already taken the name of the account so this is my instagram account this here is the profile so it has already taken the instagram account to use now i'm going to map the photo url to do that let's click on this go to step three and this here is the url the next thing is the caption so again let's go to step three and this here is the caption let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here, we have received a positive response according to which this particular post now must be posted on Instagram. Let's go and check the same. So this is my Instagram account. Let's quickly refresh this. And here you can see that this particular post has been posted. Let me show you. So yes, here we have the caption and then we have the image. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to add another action step. And this time I'm going to post this particular post on Facebook. So let's go to Facebook pages and action event here would be to create page photo post. Let's click on connect. So here you can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Facebook pages account. Again, I've logged into my Facebook account. So I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Facebook pages. Here it is asking me for the account. Let's continue as the previous account. And you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here, first of all, we have to select a page. So this is my Facebook account and you can see that I've got these three pages. So I want this particular post to be posted on Pabli page. Now we have to mention the photo URL. So I'm again going to go to step three and this here is the photo URL. Then we have the description. So let's go to step three and this here is the caption. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received a positive response. Let's go and check our Facebook. So we went to Pabli and here, let's see if we have received. Yes, we have received the same post and here is the caption. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you another example. And this time I'm going to integrate another application, which is Pinterest. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create pin. Let's click on connect. So here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Pinterest account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Pinterest. I have already logged into my Pinterest account. Let's provide the access. And here we can see that Pabli Connect is connected with Pinterest. Now here we have to enter the name of the board, board section ID, image URL, etc. To understand this, let me take you to my Pinterest account. So this is my Pinterest account and let me take you to my profile and here we have got these boards let's say that i want this particular post to be posted on avenger so i'm going to go here and have selected avenger here now the board section id this is not a required step so i'm just going to leave this blank let's enter the image url once again go to step three this is the url the title here is this the caption now even for the description i can add the same thing and here i have added the caption once again let's click on save and send test request and as i do that again we have received a positive response let's go to pinterest to check if this particular post has been posted so let's go to avenger and yes here you can see that this post has been posted similarly you can integrate different social media platforms even social messaging applications like discord slack etc so i hope this is absolutely clear to you let's quickly understand what we have done so here we have created a google sheet social media calendar and auto posted on social media how first of all we have scheduled our workflow to work every day at a particular time and then our action application, the first action application was a feature by Pabli, which is date time formatter, where we had to fetch the current date. Our next action application was Google Sheets, where the event was to look up spreadsheet rows for the date mentioned. Once that was done, we have chosen another feature by Pabli, which is delay, so that we can delay our workflow till the next date and time. Once this is done, we have put a filter so that our workflow can continue only when the values exist and once this is done then we have posted the information on different social media platforms like instagram facebook pages pinterest i hope that this particular workflow is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt, the link of this workflow is there in the description box. You can go and check out the same. You can even clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us.
Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pavli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pavli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pavli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.